on election day, it went from 180 voting spots in the greater metro Milwaukee area down to five. The line was so long. It took up the whole block. Everybody don't have on the mask. People were not six feet apart. I was really angry. But the other thing I was, was afraid. And that's what I'm mad about. I had to really choose my health over exercising my right to vote. There's some statistics that say that 9% of all voters were disenfranchised because of the voting in the pandemic, and that the figure is greater for communities of color. Black communities have always had to fight for the right to vote. What we're up against right now during this time has snapped us out of numbness. I gotta keep fighting, not only for, for what happened to me, but what happened to my community. How you doing? All right, we're just dropping off some more food and some other household items. We got information about voting and census in there that's super important. Give us a call. My name is Melody McCurtis. I am the deputy director at Metcalf Park Community Bridges. Okay, so what we calling this the free little grocery store. Ooh, ooh, that's not stable. When COVID first happened, our families in Metcalf Park didn't have food. They didn't have hygiene products. They didn't have cleaning supplies. The city, the county, the state, they didn't do anything for our families. You know, Metcalf Park Community Bridges had to create a whole system to make sure our people had what they need. Our communities, they said that they're not online, right? So all of these messages that was online, our community wasn't getting that information. That's when we got Jordan on board, and she's like, hey, we gonna make these resource guys, we gonna bring digital to them. Hey, how you doing? Make sure you look at that packet and some information about voting the census in there, and call us if you need some additional support. Hey, Ms. Ophelar, how you doing? You looking good. Yeah. That pink is popping. What's up, Toya? I would've hired Melody regardless of who she was because she loves my people. She cares about them. She happens to be my daughter. Felicia, where you You know at? how people be saying, I get it? Get they say, uh, I get it from my mama. It's yeah. real. <laughs> that make me want to dance. I get it from my mama. Don't do that on I camera. It. It's, it's oh, no. We moved to Metcalf Park when I was about 12. You know, we didn't know anybody, but the mother I had, she would drink her coffee on the porch. She would check in on kids. It started like this domino effect, and then you started to see the neighborhood change. You registered to vote? Yeah. Did you I've been doing do your that. absentee ballot? Yeah. Okay. You know yeah. you can get the ballot. You know you can drop it off at the early voting sites. Oh, okay. I haven't even got it yet. So. Okay. So make sure you go, go on there and make sure they're sending it to you. I remember requesting my absentee ballot on March 23rd, looking for my ballot. My ballot never came. I remember COVID spiking. Danelle has high blood pressure. She has an enlarged heart. If I got COVID from voting and I brought it back home, and God forbid, Danelle didn't make it, I can't even describe how I would feel if that happened. So that's why, you know, I agreed to be a part of the lawsuit. There's not been one action in Wisconsin in the last decade taken to make voting easier. If we were a nation committed to justice and laws, we would do everything we could to make voting easier. And, and in pandemic, we should be doing everything we could to make it safer. We brought a lawsuit under the ADA, the Americans with Disabilities Act, to provide for every vote to be counted safely. The level of different things that black people, when it comes to voting, what they have to do. Having a, a, a voter ID, navigating folks on how to find their voting the location. disinformation for felons, right? I mean, we're talking about gerrymandering. So all of these different things is really holding our folks back from wanting to vote. We wanted to stop uh, by today to talk about voting. I'm trying to stay as safe as possible. If you need a safety voting kit, we'll be giving those out. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. I'll see you soon, okay? I think COVID is getting worse. We're seeing it already. I don't expect it getting expect it to get better. Not no time too soon. Hurry up, y'all want cereal? Yeah. Underlay, underlay. I'm never gonna do school.
Y'all don't, why don't y'all like online school? You fall asleep during class. Uh -uh. It's horrible. I hate it too. Yeah, it's horrible. Yeah, it's horrible. When the lockdown first happened, I remember being depressed because I started dreaming about the different domino effects of what a pandemic would do to my community. You know, I'm really failing balancing this work, being a mom, and this uh, virtual school. I'm, I haven't figured it out. Rudy, you said you said he spilled water. Which one he spilled water in? I don't know. Rudy, I think you broke this computer last night. Got it. When you're in poverty, you like, I just got to keep getting up and surviving every day. People in the black community, we aren't able to rest. Well, I don't believe in voting. I feel like the higher ups. They gonna pick the president. You voted the last time, even though you didn't want to, remember? So why you can't push yourself this time to vote? I just don't really care for it. But you care about us, though. You care about the community, right? Our votes don't count. That's what I feel. Now, that's you know it's opinion. not just the president Who's that's running. Who's our ballot? Our neighborhood. Whew. You know, as a young person, I was the same way. Before I got in this job, nobody ever reached out to me. Officials never looked my way. So now we're mobilizing people to vote because Metcalf Park said we, we want power. And we know voting is power. We know when we vote that they'll start paying attention. We have officials that are not advocating for the right jobs to come in. We have officials saying, oh, let's open up a family dollars that pays $8 an hour. When I vote, and I'm voting to keep the officials accountable, not just for me, but for the entire community. Guess who's already with her ballot? <laughs> Going okay. to the box today. How do you feel about the ballot box? I have had some pushback from several people who I've told about the boxes, uh, about them not knowing if they're safe, if the ballots are actually going where they're supposed to go. Do you, do you trust the voting system? To a point. I don't trust it because of the way the system is being processed right now. And the way that they got the scandals going in and everything, it just one thing after another, one thing after another. It looks like it's so much confusing. Is that this Trump talking about they gonna, they throwing away the things. And so that's the reason I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go in person if I can walk. I'm gonna go. Black folks is real skeptical right now. So we got people worried about, you know, they absentee ballots going into that drop-off box because of Trump and his family and all of the things that he's saying, like, we're going to have people there. We're going to we're gonna, we're gonna win this election by any means necessary. So our community is saying, if I put it in there, how do I know people won't go in there and take it out? It's a lot of misinformation. And I know it's on purpose. They're, send, they're sending a message that they don't want certain votes to be cast. They don't want certain votes to be counted. So we depose the Republicans find out what evidence did they have of any type of voter fraud. We asked that question to the head of the Republican Party in the state of Wisconsin, tell us how there can be fraud, what evidence do you have of fraud in mail-in ballots, and he said none. Let's collectively vote, okay? Yes, ma'am. All right, I'll see y'all soon. My whole job is to outmaneuver the systematic racism in Milwaukee. This is the hardest thing I've ever had to do Oh, shit. I hope it starts. <laughs> you know, I don't really make a lot of money. <laughs> we cooking. But we are building the world that, you know, I want to see. So that's why I'm still here. Woke up this morning with my mind stayed on freedom. Woke up this morning with my mind stayed on freedom with my mind stayed on freedom.